nothing should exist. From a logical point of view, none of this should be here. This universe should not exist. All life comes from life, but we know life has not been here forever. So how did life start? Also, all motion comes from motion, but we know non-moving things do not start motion. So how did motion start? Let's use logic for these questions. We do not know what x is, but if we know x plus 2 equals 5, then we can conclude that the most logical answer for x would be 3 by using what you do know to make a logical decision about what you do not. Evidence shows that life comes from life. That we know. As far in history as we can go, all life comes from another living form. Logically, we can see that life is created every day by life. Evidence shows that non-life never creates life that we know. As far in history as we can go, non-life never created another living form. Logically, we can see that non-life does not create life. Therefore, it is more logical to believe that the first living form came from something that is alive. But unlike life as we know it, this life would be self-sufficient, eternal, not needing anything to create it or help support its life. Also, evidence shows that motion comes from motion, that we know. As far in history as we can go, all motion comes from something that itself is in motion. Logically, we can see that motion produces motion every day. Evidence shows that something not in motion does not produce motion. That we know. As far in history as we can go, non-motion never puts something in motion. Logically, we can see that non-motion never produces motion. Therefore, it is more logical to believe that the first motion came from something that is in motion. But unlike motion as we know it, this motion would be self-sufficient, eternal, not needing anything to move it or help support its motion. The most logical conclusion is, there is a living form capable of motion and is completely self-sufficient not needing any assistance to live or move, capable of creating both life and motion. Now let's look at logic in the other way. Life comes from life 100% of the time. Life comes from non-life 0% of the time. So to believe that life started from something non-living would be concluding that something that does not have life and has never created life would be responsible for creating life. That is not logical. Movement comes from movement 100% of the time and non-movement starts movement 0% of the time. So to believe that movement started from non-movement would be concluding that all movement started from something not capable of starting movement. This too is not logical. To believe all life came from something not capable of starting life and all movement comes from something not capable of starting movement, then you would have to believe against all evidence to believe that life and motion are created by something that is incapable of both life and motion. This would be crazy. So again, the most logical conclusion is there is a living form capable of motion and is completely self-sufficient, not needing any assistance to live or move, capable of creating both life 
and motion. This is proof for the necessity of something that is living, self-existent, self-moving, and eternal. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 14 it says, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. The Bible clearly describes God as living, self-existent, self-moving, and eternal, and finds God necessary for the existence of the universe. So belief in the Bible's God would be rational to match the definition of the living form necessary for the existence of the universe.